Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, guys. If you're new here, what's up? Hello, I'm Joe. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and trusting me to entertain you. Okay, I am so freaking excited for today's video because I'm filming multiple videos in a row so like stay tuned this week if you're watching this video right now stay tuned i have three different reviews that coming up that i'm so excited to film and review but i'm filming them all right now but you guys are going to see them throughout the week but for today's video as you've seen by the title the very popular the gone viral sold out crazy kvd beauty good apple foundation you guys, I actually had not, I had, I'll be honest with you, I hadn't been on TikTok in a minute. Um, <clears throat> and then my cousin said, hey, I thought about getting that uh, Good Apple Foundation. She was like, you know, what do you think about it? And Or what shade do you think I'd be? And I was like, I've never heard of that. What are you talking about? And I swear it was like two days later. That's all I heard about. I saw all the reviews pop up. I saw everybody talking about this Good Apple Foundation. I was like, well, you know what? That'd be something good to review. So I went to go buy it. Sure enough sold out no shades were left and I was like good god this stuff must be amazing so then I started looking to see why it was so popular and it was like because it was so full coverage it was like so much this so much that so great however I watched reviews mainly to try to figure out why it was so popular um and it's not the best for oily skin which is what I have so, I've noticed that people with oily skin, they have major breakthrough oil. There's major shine because it is a, like a balm, if I'm not mistaken. This is, um, yeah, it's Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. But it's supposed to be like a skin-like finish, but with full coverage, which is very hard to achieve. It's a lot to claim. But, we're going to try it. But since I already know, based off the reviews, that it just does not do the best for oily skin, I've decided that I'm going to start this review for people with oily skin. So I am going to attempt to make this foundation work. I've never tried it. It's still brand new. It came in a couple days ago. And, wait, let's backtrack. <laughs> When I told you it was sold out, it was sold out. So I checked back multiple times until I could finally purchase it. I finally caught it when they had restocked. I'm pretty sure a lot of them had already sold out by now. Let me see. So I'm looking now on Ulta.com and almost all the lighter shades are sold out. There's a few darker, darker end light shades. There's a few mediums sold out. There are still some available shades is what I'm getting at. But they are selling out again. But I was able to snag what I thought would be my color. And I feel as if it may be a tad too dark. I could be wrong because I did see a lot of people say that it looks a lot darker in the pan than it applies on the face. Um, but I had gone to the beach. So when I ordered it, my tan was still very fresh. As you can see, it's probably going to be a tad too dark. My, st my tan was still very fresh. It matches my whatever anyways um and so this definitely would have matched me probably a week ago but i haven't got back out in the sun so i'm not positive that it'll still match me um but we're gonna find out we're still gonna use it whether it matches us or not but anyway so this is the unicarton it comes in which i think is so cute because you get a little peek through of the actual color of course i ordered mine online um and i got the shade tan 057 it's a neutral shade which is i have neutral undertones and um now, the packaging is a very cute packaging, as you can see. However, um, the actual packaging itself feels very cheap. Like, even when I open it, it just feels very, very cheap. But anyways, so like I said, I'm going to do this review based on people with oily skin. So, I'm actually going to go in with this Hollywood California Glam Glow Super Mattify Six Acid Clarifying Primer. Um, so, this is a super mattifying primer it looks like this i don't know if you guys have ever tried it um i don't really use primers that much anymore but in the summertime i do tend to try to gravitate towards a mattifying primer just because you sweat and so that's when your oils try to break through i probably got way too much but we're gonna work with it but um I'm going to wear this for a little while and check back in with you guys. I'm going to wear it as long as I can. It is currently 
6.30 at night. So I'm going to wear it for at least four or five hours. That's plenty to see what it's going to do based on the reviews that I've already seen. Um, a lot of people are getting like oily people. Um, I actually haven't seen a lot of dry skin reviews now that I'm thinking about it. But anyways, oily people are saying that their breakthrough oil is coming out like within the hour. So I'm going to attempt to make it work. Like I said, I've never tried it without, but just based on the reviews, the oily skin people, uh-uh. But we're going to try. We're going to see if we can make it work. So that's my goal today is to see if I can make this work. And then after I apply and do my um, powder and everything, I'm actually going to set my face with the Max Fix Plus Prep and Prime in matte. It has powder particles in it, so it really, really seals the deal. So what I'm saying is if I've got this super mattifying Glam Glow Primer on, I've got this mattifying, which controls oils, amazing. I've tried it during the summertime. I've <laughs> done reviews on this before, and it does a great job at controlling oils but anyways doing double duty trying to control oils if it breaks through in four hours after that it just ain't for us you know what i'm saying okay okay so i've seen a lot of people use brushes for this because it gives the fullest coverage but i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna give them with the beauty blender because number one the beauty blender especially with it being a balm i don't want a lot of excess product i mean i don't want a lot of like yeah, excess, I guess, product on my face. Um, I want to try to give it the best potential, but within a with a very light layer. I don't want to add multiple, multiple layers. So we're going to see what it will do with that. So I'm going to go in with the Beauty Blender. But I just want to say, I just, this is my first time using this Beauty Blender. It got, it came in BoxyCharm. But it's this Hip Dot. My other one was dirty and I really didn't feel like washing it. So I just was like, okay, I'm just going to use this one. Because it's, I had both of these, this little one and this big one, in this from BoxyCharm. And... It is so insanely soft. Like, it's the softest beauty blender I've... And that could be beneficial and it could not be so great. I don't know. But we're about to find out. So, alright. So, I'm about to dip in. I'm a little nervous. I am a little nervous. So, it definitely gives... Oh, God. Be gentle. Because, look. I, I barely pressed, but it... Like, oh. I barely pressed, but it made, like, a little dent, which makes sense. But, whoa. Even with a beauty blender. Oh my god. <laughs> well, first of all, people were right about it being much darker in the compact than it is on the skin because it actually matches me perfectly. So I'm glad I didn't get here away from that. But I. Oh. Do y'all see this? Look, this is one side. And this is with a beauty blender. Like this is for the lightest coverage. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm a little amazed right now. I mean. Whew, I'm going to do like half my face. I, wow. Oh my god. It also says that like you can use your fingers to spot conceal some pimples. But like. I feel as if I don't need to use my finger because it's like giving that coverage. I really hope. <laughs> now I haven't looked at it up close. I haven't seen it like really good on my skin. But I really do hope that this mattifying stuff really helps control the oil portion of this. Because how cool would it be if this freaking balm, which is so much easier than liquid I feel. But I also feel that. Balms just don't work good for oily people. They also are never this full cover. I'm amazed. Look at this. I mean, I'm just amazed. I, like, I really don't know what else to say except wow. I mean, wow. So, like I said, I'm about to look at it up close. Um, this is crazy. I definitely thought this was going to be too dark for me, but it definitely is not. Like I said, in case anybody was wondering, I have the shade Tan 57, 057. I don't, I guess that classifies as 57. I just am like, I don't know what to, to say. <laughs> Except, holy cow. 
first impressions are very impressed. <laughs> I'm also very excited that it didn't end up being too dark because it almost looks not in person at all. I think it's just because my skin is red because I've been out in the sun today with the kids. But in person, it actually looks like it matches pretty good besides the redness that's from today. That'll be gone tomorrow. But on camera, it kind of looks like it's almost either too light or too yellow. I don't know. But this is a neutral one, so who knows? We're going to see. Um, everything will come together once we finish our face. So... You guys i'm gonna let you guys take a good up close look of it before i set it with powder but y'all i mean look at my skin let's see i don't know if that just wasn't blend, blended out or if we were already starting to crease there on the corner of our mouth but definitely has a like natural finish it's not super super dewy it definitely has a little bit of a natural shine um which again is to be expected so now i'm going to set it and we're going to see what it does i'm trying to just blend it out the best i possibly can i really need this to work I really do. So I'm going to go in with my tried and true setting powder right now. It's the Huda Beauty Pound Cake Setting Powder. It's, a, it's the translucent setting powder, but it's in, I'm sorry, it's the Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder in the shade Pound Cake. They have several shades. They have translucent. But I feel the translucent is actually kind of white, kind of gives a bit of a white cast, and this one is more of like a not quite banana, because they do have a banana looking shade, but it is like beige. So it doesn't leave a cast. So I'm going to blend out my under eyes and my forehead. I need more book talks. God bless America. I really like this beauty blender, by the way. Hip dot. Hip dot. Excuse my faces. Y'all know those come with this. But, I mean, honestly, guys. First impressions just upon application. I am insane. I was not. And I tell you, I was not. My, my cousin's going to be mad because I was like, I saw the reviews and it doesn't look so. And she's like, yeah, I'm seeing mixed reviews. And so she ended up not getting it. But here I am reviewing it. And oh, if I can manage to get this to stay good. And trying to control oils at all ways, in all ways possible, then I think we might have a winner. Because I love a good balm. <clears throat> I love stick foundations. I love something that's really easy. And you don't have to like squirt liquid. Ew, I hate that word. Just squirt. Cool. I need to turn down my light a little bit. I feel like it's washing me out because it definitely does look. I mean, I'm literally in the shade Tan 57. So, if that's too light, that tells you how dark I got at the beach. But to me, it just looks a tad too yellow because my skin's so red. So, I mean, look. Look at it in the compact versus on my face. So, that was a true story that people said. But, I mean, this is after setting it with powder, guys. I'm going to let you guys look and then I'm going to take a up close look, look and let you guys know if i notice anything and then i'm gonna finish a full face off camera and check back in with you guys but here is what it looks like set with powder i mean pretty decent the skin looks good the skin looks good i'm gonna look at it up close from what i can tell on camera so we're gonna look at it up close real quick and see okay so what i'm noticing is that It does look smooth still, but I do feel it looks a tad, like right there in my chin area. It looks a little cakey, I'm not gonna lie. My texture looks a bit accentuated. Like all these bumps that otherwise aren't really accentuated, I feel as if they're really accentuated right now. However, I will say this. 
because that's just a fun looking now. I will say that a lot of foundations have done that to me before after I set them with powder. And then once I put setting spray, once I finish my face and put setting spray, that kind of all evens out. So we're going to see if that happens. I'm hoping that happens because up close there's a lot of like, whew. But from a distance, I mean, I'm looking pretty good. Okay, I'm going to go finish my face off camera, which lets you know that I'm reviewing a few more things. Stay tuned and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I started applying this makeup at about 6.30, 6.45-ish, um, and it is 8.06, so it's been on for about an hour already. Um, I did review some highlighters, so this glow that you're seeing is not from Breakthrough Oil. It's actually holding up pretty well so far. Um, again, I still have a while to wear it. I'm going to wear it for a couple more hours just to see how it does, how it holds up. Because again, like, the, like I said, the reviews that I saw, it did um, have some breakthrough. I did finish my face. I did a couple more reviews, so stay tuned for those. Those are coming. Um... But looking at my face, after I completed my face, after I set it with setting spray, um, something I have not done yet is go in with the Max Fix Plus um, mattifying spray. I have not done that. I did set it with a, um, I set it with something else. What did I set it with? Oh, I sprayed it. When I was doing my review on the other products, I had to set it to kind of give it the full effect. So instead of going in with like a normal setting spray, because again, I was trying to control oil for this foundation. I went in with this Photo Focus Matte Finish from Wet n Wild. It's just something I had. Kind of smells like hairspray. Kind of feels like hairspray. But we don't know. At least it's mattifying. That's what, that's what it's supposed to be anyways. Um, but anyways, it did melt the products into the skin. But here's what my skin is looking like um, up close after, I would say about an hour or so of wear. Because I applied it, let's see, no more than an hour. Because I applied it around 6.30, So, I mean, I've had it on for at least an hour and 15 minutes at, at least. Um, but I did a couple more reviews. Um, and here we are. I haven't walked away from my camera yet. I will say for it to be a balm and be supposed to be like not for oily skin, usually those settle in fine lines very quickly. Um, but I'm not noticing that on my head. Like it's just the normal lines that I always have. It's not like settling. There's a tad bit of settling right there in the smile lines, but nothing like super abnormal. Um, let me look at my chin because that was really one of our areas that was like, ooh. So yeah, so compared to my normal go-to foundation, which is the um, Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. Love that foundation. Love it. Um, there is a lot more settling through here, here. And it definitely through my chin, but after setting it with setting spray and kind of pressing that setting spray in with the Beauty Blender, it did help a lot through here, but I'm still getting quite a bit of texture. Um, but other than that, it really doesn't look that bad. I mean, especially from a distance. Nobody's going to be looking at you this close anyways, but like just from like sitting here looking, at, I mean, it looks pretty good and it looks like it would photograph really well but anyways i'm gonna go about the rest of my night and i'll try to stay up for at least two or three more hours and check back in with you guys and let you know how it held up see you in a little bit okay you guys we are at 11 16 p.m so we are a solid oh how many hours almost five hours in and i truly believe that using the mattifying stuff really does help. Now, I can feel that my oils are starting to break through. The shine you're seeing comes from just the um, highlight that I use because I don't see any extra shine compared to before. Um, if anything, the little bit of oil that is breaking through is kind of just making makeup look even better. Um... But yeah, like I really, really, really enjoy this makeup. Um, so I will say a few things about it. So first we'll start off by saying that you can definitely feel it. Um, it definitely feels like there is something on your skin. I will say that that 
this color ended up being a perfect match for me. Like there's no, like anything. You can't, I blended it down my neck and you can't see anything. Um, so for anybody that normally matches me, again, I'm a tan 057. Um, so there's that. The other thing is, is I did record myself um, just to see kind of what it looks like just on my phone um, about midway through about two hours ago and I'll actually insert it there um, and my skin just on video looked so good like I just every time I looked at myself on video I was like god my skin looks good and just like looking in the viewfinder now I'm like god my skin looks good and looking in the mirror it looked good but if we're getting really up close and personal there definitely is texture. My eyes are red, y'all, because I'm so sleepy. I stayed up extra for you guys to so that I could do this check-in. I wanted to go to sleep about an hour and a half ago, but I was like, I'm going to kick it as long as I can kick it. So I've been watching videos, and here I am, tired. Um, but there is definitely, I'm trying to get, let me see if I can get y'all an up-close view. So for five hours in, I feel like my makeup still looks really well, especially compared to those that I have seen with oily skin. Um, I definitely am breaking up in the smile lines. Um, it definitely gathered again on the corners of my mouth. Uh, it most definitely is... It's a fuller coverage foundation, but it's definitely not as skin-like as my tried and true Stay Naked. Um, that one's very skin-like with like a medium coverage. This is definitely a full coverage and it's not as skin-like. There were a few times where I was like kind of itching. Um, something else that I wanted to check in is people were talking about the, um, it being so... It transfers so bad. Like, one of the girls I watched said that when she went to kiss her husband, like, the makeup, like, smeared on his nose. So, we're going to try that really quick. I don't have my husband in here. He is asleep. But I do have a white paper towel. And I really want to see how bad it transfers. So, this is the paper towel. You can see it's perfectly clean. And so, I'm just going to press it onto my head really hard. I didn't get that transfer. I'm going to try everywhere. So there is a tad tint that showed up, but that was after I pressed it on the side with my bronzer. So that could be all that that is, but like, no, it's not major transfer. Hold on. Let's do like skin. I'm not getting the transfer. Um, however, blotting my face with that paper towel actually helped a little bit. So maybe there was some breakthrough shine <laughs> coming up. But, um, but not bad. Like I don't feel oily. I don't feel greasy. Um, I love, love the way my skin looks on video. I love the way it was photographing. Um, is it something that I would wear every single day? No. Is it something I'll wear again? Absolutely. I actually really enjoyed this just because of the way it made my skin look. Like I said, nobody's going to be looking at you like this, like super up close. Um, so all those little details I can deal with because overall, just like looking at me in the mirror or looking at a video... It looks really good. Um, another thing that I thought about is that I'm going to try different setting powders because a balm is already kind of heavy. So this is a very heavy translucent powder. Um, so I'm going to try one of some more of my um, translucent powders. More that, Some more that are more like finely milled. Some of my hydrating ones. I have some hydrating translucent powders and I'm gonna try those and just see if it changes like how the creasing and like the cakey kind of looks in certain areas does because that could be it as well because that's two heavy products together um so I'm gonna try that I'm gonna see if that works I'm gonna play around with it because 
definitely first go I will definitely be picking this back up multiple times I will I will wear this on not an everyday occasion but on like anytime I'm like going out out this will be my go-to because I just love 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 the way it looks on the skin it just looks really really good but anyways that is it for today's video guys if you guys enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up um and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel it helps me out greatly i love you guys and drop anything in the comments that you guys want to see me review i love 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 reviewing that's like one of my favorite things to do so i'll catch you guys on the next one bye